Hey everyone, Joe here over at Joe's Bikes. We get asked all the time how our bikes are so clean. So we decided to make this video today to explain what we use and how we clean our bikes. So first we're gonna go through the supplies and then we'll actually get into the nitty gritties about how to clean your bike. First and most importantly, we always use latex gloves to protect our hands and skin from all of the chemicals. Steel wool is another useful tool to wipe the chrome off. You have to be careful and you always wanna stick with quad zero steel wool. It's more fine and it won't scratch the chrome. Uh, I know if you use other steel wool, it may scratch the chrome. And we always partner that with a hair dryer to get all the shedding off of the bike once you're done actually wiping down the chrome with the steel wool. There's a ton of different aluminum cleaners that you can use. You do not want to use the steel wool on the aluminum or else it will scratch it. So we recommend Never Dull, that's what we use. Uh, but there's a million different types of aluminum cleaners if you'd rather use a different one. We use degreaser to get all the dirt, mud, or grime off of the bike or wheels. This, you're going to want to use a microfiber cloth, but if there's places on the bike that you can't get to, uh, a toilet brush is very useful, or some swabs. You can always get degreaser at Walmart or anywhere online. It's pretty cheap and it works very well. Any sort of detail spray will give your paint a nice shine, and if you do have a denim bike, uh, there's a lot of companies that make denim paint cleaner. For example, we just have the Harley denim paint cleaner, and you're gonna wanna use a softer microfiber cloth when you're doing this so it doesn't scratch your bike. We use Armor All on the seat or on leather bags, and we like to use a round microfiber pad to apply it. The Road King that we're gonna be cleaning today does have white wall tires, so we're gonna be using this white wall tire cleaner to clean those. The engine area in your bike can look dull and old super, super easily, uh, so any type of finish spray will work well, but we honestly found that tire finish works the best. It makes it shiny and look brand new. When it comes to buffing, we have this Griot's Garage corded buffer. You can get a really nice buffer online for only about $200. They work super well, and we like to use this polishing compound, also Griot's Garage, but there's a ton of different buffing compounds that work well. And when you're wiping down the buffing cream off of your bike, you always wanna use a plush microfiber cloth. It is super, super soft. It's not gonna leave any scratches and it's gonna get all that buffing cream off of the paint. Sometimes the rubber from your boots will get melted onto the exhaust. So easy off grill cleaner and steel wool will do a great job getting all that off. And sometimes stickers are not easy to get off. So we use a heat gun to heat it up and then it's a lot easier to peel off. So once we get all of our supplies in order, our first step is to get the bike on a lift. Okay, now that we got the bike on a lift and stripped down as much as possible, we're gonna take our grade quad zero steel wool like I talked about earlier, and we're just gonna wipe all the chrome down. You want to be very careful about hitting the paint with the steel wool. It will scratch it very easily, so you'll see when I'm uh, doing this chrome up here that I'm super, super careful that I'm not gonna touch the paint at all. So let's get that done now. So normally the next step would be to use a hair dryer and blow off all the shedding from the steel wool. But since we have a chrome wheel, I'm just gonna use the steel wool and clean that first. I'll put some footage in of uh, me cleaning a painted wheel. So you know how to use the degreaser and the detail spray to get it as clean and shiny as possible. Okay, so we're gonna take a quick intermission to talk about how to clean white wall tires. Um, obviously you wanna get these as white as possible and it's not very easy. Um, so as I explained in the very beginning, we're gonna use white wall tire cleaner. You do have to let it sit for a little bit, so I'm just gonna spray it on here. Um, leave it for three to five minutes. I'll speed it up and we'll come back. You'll actually notice that I come back and spray it a little bit more while I'm waiting. This will speed up the process and make sure that I didn't miss anywhere on the white walls. 
And you'll also notice as I'm wiping it down, I wipe it down pretty hard. Uh, you're gonna need to put some pressure on to get all the dirt and the stains out of the, those white walls. Okay, so now we're gonna use that degreaser I was talking about earlier with a nice clean microfiber towel to get all of the dirt and bugs off of the bike. This is mainly gonna be the paint and the frame, uh, but we're also gonna use a toilet brush to get to places that otherwise wouldn't be easy to get to. I'd say there's one important thing to look out for when it comes to degreaser, and that is if you touch your towel against the chrome, it's gonna leave a cloudy mark on the chrome. Uh, it's super easy to get rid of. All you have to do is use a dry microfiber towel, wipe that down, and it'll come clean immediately. Um, but that leads us into our next step, which is using the detail spray to kind of get the bike ready for buffing. Um, we're gonna be using the detail spray with a new microfiber towel. Uh, we're gonna be using it on the mirrors, the headlight, the windshield. We're gonna be hitting the frame with it again and on the paint. So this is gonna be used on pretty much everywhere on the bike except for the chrome. And it's gonna shine it up and kind of clean up those things that we're not actually gonna be buffing, like the frame and the windshield. And this is a great time to get those side covers. And if you have painted side bags, put those back on. You can follow those degreaser and detail spray steps with those as well. Um, it's just gonna be a lot easier to buff them when they're on the bike. Okay, so obviously this is not the Road King, but I wanted to show you how to use the heat gun to take stickers off. So you're just gonna wanna evenly heat up all around the sticker with that heat gun first. Then once you've heated up a little bit, you can just start peeling those stickers off pretty easily. Some stickers will be easier, some will be harder. But once you heat it up, it makes it 10 times easier. And these stickers came off pretty clean and didn't leave anything behind, but sometimes there will be sticky residue or glue from the stickers. And there's a ton of different adhesive removers that you can use to get that off. Um, you may have to go over it a few times with this adhesive remover and a soft cloth, but it all will come off eventually. Okay, so next we're gonna move on to buffing. As you can see, the fender is already very clean because we used the degreaser and the detail spray on it already. But what you're gonna wanna do is use that polishing compound, put some on there, not too much, but not too little. And you're gonna wanna lather that around with your hand all over the fender. And then when you use the buffer, you wanna go in some circular motions so that you make sure to hit all the paint in all the different directions. And then uh, once you're done with that, you can use a plush microfiber cloth to wipe off all of the polishing compound. And you'll see just how much your fender shines up. And then all you're gonna have to do is do the same thing on the rest of the paint. Now that we've buffed the bike and made the paint look brand new, we are going to put the seat back on and the leather bags back on. And we're gonna spray some of this armor all onto this circular microfiber pad that I talked about earlier. And we're just gonna wipe the seat and the bags down with it. Shines it up, makes it look brand new. All right, and now that we've put the bike back together and armor all the seat in the leather bags, we're gonna use that finish spray that we talked about. We're gonna spray the inside of the uh, motor area and you'll see just how much this stuff shines up and how amazing it looks um, with the whole bike at the end. All right, and as promised, we're gonna clean off this melted boot that's on the exhaust. I know this is really annoying and sometimes 
it's not that easy to come off. But what I would recommend if you can't get it off with just steel wool is using this grill cleaner. Now, you actually wanna heat up the bike as well, which means I'm gonna let it run for two to three minutes. This exhaust pipe will heat up and I will use steel wool with the grill cleaner and it should come off fairly easily. You might have to take multiple tries. You might have to do it once, twice, three times, but eventually it will all come off. And you do have to be careful not to touch the exhaust with my hands because it is hot and it can burn you. So you want to be very careful with it. So I'll show you how to do all of this right now. Uh, obviously not going to be talking while the bike's running because it's too loud, but I'll just show you all of it. And now you've learned how to completely clean your Harley. From the paint to the frame to all of the nuances in between, I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and we'll try to respond as soon as possible. But otherwise, enjoy impressing your friends with your brand new looking bike.